Hey guys, it's Shelby here. Um, I hope that you're doing well. Uh, I'm doing well myself. Um, I just wanted to get on and catch up, hang out for a minute. Um, I know like the last two years, two and a half years, I've kind of fallen off the map, but um, uh, let's talk about it. Um, so after quitting Final Space, I just had to reevaluate things and get back to why I was doing this, what I was doing, the integrity behind it. Um, and that's something that's super important to me with anything that I do. Um, so this album is about that. It is a metaphor for this generation's version of the Roaring Twenties. Um, and I feel like this album, like, I knew exactly what the message was going to be from the beginning. And I knew exactly what I wanted to say, but I you know, I started on it four years ago. And it's kind of funny that like I put it out now, it's definitely a divine timing thing, where the facade or the veil of Hollywood and fame is falling. Um, that's a lot about what I'm talking about. So I think with my generation and younger and older, you know, this, this, this area, there's definitely been this thing of like, and it's gotten worse over the years of like, telling younger people or, or making them feel like they have to have a dream and like make it happen and it has to be impressive and like I've just like never gotten that like I have always wanted to make music and like me be left out of it which is why I don't get on here much um but I have really something really important to say with this album and it is absolutely divine fate and divine timing that all the Diddy stuff all all this crap is falling because I want it to <laughs> and it makes me happy to see it happening and to see people like Allie Carter talking up um and Jaguar Wright and um I hear I I hear all of your stories I do and I have been in situations myself that could have gone very very wrong um and thankfully they didn't. I'm gonna give that one up to God. Um, but yeah, I didn't, there's a reason I didn't move to LA. There's a reason I left Nashville. There's a reason I quit Final Space. There's a reason, there's a reason for everything. Um, and my character and my integrity could not be maintained and my well being be maintained in, in those environments where. People are made to feel like they are worthless and that they don't bring any value um, just so that you can be paid less and be demeaned and overworked and underpaid and treated like shit. Um, and I said no to all of that. I said that is absolutely not what I'm here to do. This album, I have a very specific message and then had very specific things that I want to talk about. And it's like now that this everything happening with Diddy, it's like please fuck anyone that has ever tried to sell you a dream anyone that has ever tried to get something out of you whether that was your talent or your skill or your your beauty or just your character who you are just leave the party and that's how i end the album you know leave the party with me and i guess that's my uh you know i'm not doing this shit anymore um i'm gonna be vocal and uh, I don't have anything to lose because everything that I have, I have built myself. This album, everything was performed by me. I play all the instruments. Everything was produ produced by me, mixed, mastered. The artwork that I, I did everything. No one, nothing could taint what I was trying to do and the message that I was trying to say. So anyone that has ever had my experience in Hollywood, um, listen to this album. Anyone that um, is famous and known right now and you feel like you're screaming or feel like you're in a tiger in a cage just ready to, to eat someone's face off because you know the truth. It's just not good and it's not something I want to be a part of. So I'm thankful that I have acquired the skills, the knowledge, and the experiences that I've had to be where I am right now to do this. And if it, this is the last album I do, 
I'm proud of it and I stand behind it 100%. I don't do tours. I don't have merch online anymore. I don't do anything like that. If you want to support me, just listen to the music. Share it with people that you think need this message and need this encouragement. Um, but yeah, to this younger generation, please understand that all of this is, it's fake. <laughs> it's not real. And there are bad people taking advantage of good people behind it all the way from the top to the bottom. Um, please do not sell your heart for vanity. Don't, you know, I say in one of the songs, um, when everyone's got things to sell and things to tell, we might as well jump barefoot from the carousel like leave with nothing on you just get out just just and that's what I did I've been back in Ohio two and a half years I've been working a nine to five job doing well more like 6 a.m to three but uh doing grocery deliveries for Walmart and you know what of all the jobs that I've ever had in my life this is my favorite all I do all day is drive around and I listen to music I deliver goods to people that need them people like my mom who are home you know, with one leg or in a wheelchair or they're home with their kids and they don't have any other way, you know, to get groceries. Like I just make people stay all day and there's no pressure. There's no one um, threatening me or making me get up at three in the morning to do something. Like I don't want to live in that life anymore. Um, I want to be where kindness and compassion and character and doing the right thing and treating people equally and not thinking you're above anyone. Um, those are the, the values that I hold dear. And those are the things that I care about. I genuinely love the chapter that I'm in right now. And the fact that I get to speak truth. And I'm not on a label. I'm not with a publisher. I've never have, never been. I am 100% on my own. And that is a privilege. So I, I sincerely hope that you listen to the album and that um, those who have had similar experiences, whether in work or in love or in, in relationships, um, I just hope that you get something from it and I hope you get healing and I hope however long the album is, those 10 songs that um, you know that you're not crazy and there are people out here who see um, again, I'm thankful for the experiences that I've had because there was a, a reason and I see now um, that I'm in the position to get to say something. So that is a privilege and, um, and I will use it. So uh, thank you to everyone that has listened to the album. Um, if you really want to support me, share it with people. Share it with people that you think need it. That's, that's all that I want. So I'm doing well. I hope you're doing well. Um, but yeah, I, I love you guys and uh, I hope you're doing well. I hope you're at peace. I hope you're making good decisions for yourself and your well-being and uh, have an amazing weekend. <laughs>